Hey Rulers, this is Jamal Hobson, and one of the most important things that we look at is the CEO of a company. This is the management of a company, and let me tell you a little bit about why. The CEO is extremely important, um, and the role that they play cannot be minimized in any way. The CEO is the captain of the ship. They determine the culture of the company, they determine the direction the company is going in, as well as the returns that the company generates. And so if we don't have a competent CEO, if we don't have a CEO that we trust, maybe that's not the company for us. If we've got an amazing company with some strong moats and questionable leadership, maybe there's an opportunity there. What makes a good CEO for a ruler is somebody who is honest, somebody who has integrity, and somebody who openly communicates with us. And so we're looking for a CEO who sends out a shareholder letter that says, this is what we did this year, this is what we're going to do next year. And they are held accountable by that letter. So that next year, when I read the letter, I can say, well, you said you were going to do this last year. Did you do it? Oh, not only did you do it, but you did it really well. And what are you going to do next year? So I can follow that management along, see what they said they were going to do, and then follow up to make sure that they did what they said they were going to do. I'm also going to read those shareholder letters and listen to the conference calls. I want to hear if they're being honest with me, if they're telling me the truth, or if they're just throwing out a bunch of sales pitches to get me to leave them alone. So when it comes to assessing management, you, you've got to get into every piece of data you can find, every interview, every article, every everything, to be able to make a determination. Do I want to invest with this person? Do I share their values? And so it's a good, really good idea. I really liked it. I got a little too caught up in the good idea. And I trusted management to be have integrity, and they turned out to be liars and thieves. And um, it was a real shocker. I mean, I lost a lot of money. And I think a lot of people that um, that were aware of it through me lost a lot of money as well, including Manesh Pabrai and Guy Spear and Matt Peterson and Cheryl Loesch. And a lot of other people got really burned on this thing because of the lack of integrity of the management team. It shouldn't have been a problem and it should have been a successful investment. It wasn't. So I've learned since then that it's very difficult to tell if a management team is, has integrity. Um, if they haven't been through the fire before that you can see, you just don't know what's going to happen to them when they do. And so uh, we try to make sure that our margins of safeties are very, very big. And when things start to change in the story, that like the story that you guys are learning today, when those things start to change, when something's changing in the story, I'm very alert now to react to it. I was slow to react before to man, that created a lot of pain. So I'm teaching you guys when the story changes, you change the investment. Making a determination on how wonderful management is, how wonderful the CEO is, requires some work. It's not an easy job because not only are we looking at the returns that a company generates, we're reading the shareholder letters, we're reading any other communications, the, the quarterly, the 10 Qs, the quarterlies that come out, if they've given a, a commencement speech, if they've spoken at Google or anywhere else, we're trying to gather as much information as we can about these CEOs to make a determination is this the person that I want to invest in for my family's future? And if I can't say yes at the end of the day, then I need to move on to another company. The most obvious example of good leadership is Warren Buffett. Every year, he puts out a letter that tells us exactly what the company did last year. He tells us if there were any accounting changes. He tells us why the profitability was so high or so low, and then tells us the breakdown of each section of the business and then what we can expect going forward. That's the kind of leadership we're looking for. Open, honest, integrity, right? Somebody who's shareholder oriented, who is on our side of the deal. And so there's plenty of other examples out there like Warren Buffett, but I can't go anywhere without starting with Warren Buffett. He is the gold standard. So if you wanna know what good management is, get over to BerkshireHathaway.com and read those shareholder letters it is a phenomenal education on what good management is. As a ruler, we like to look at well-established companies, right? companies that have been around for 10 years or more. So while there's always exciting things happening in the market, new companies come in the market all the time when they have their initial public offering, as a ruler, we tend to stay away from those because those companies that are just coming public don't have a proven track record. And if there's no proven track record, we're not investing, we're gambling. And we're rule one investors, we're not rule one gamblers.